The capital city of Triskelion is under siege. Four factions vie for dominance in what was a prosperous center of industry. Only one force will emerge victorious, though, and claim this perfect staging ground for further conquest. Welcome to 40K in 40 Minutes Championships. Welcome, folks, to our third invitational 40K in 40 Minutes Championship Series. To wrap up each of our seasons on YouTube, we've invited back some fan favorites and thrown them together in a four-game mini-tournament to see who emerges as this year's champion. Will it be the resilient Death Guard, piloted by Child of Chaos, Tycho Imiga? Can the Orcs run by Mr. Initiative James Jones wog hard enough? Will the Necrons and Michael Buckthorpe see his luck return? Or is it truly the year of Steve and his Astral Claws? Hi everybody, I'm your host JT McDowell and joining me is Kaboom Nick Phrase, Tau Nick Phrase. What nickname have we got for you now? Well, I'm glad to be here JT, no matter what name you choose to call me this time. <laughs> this is shaping up to be one heck of a championship playoff. It really is, and I'm really excited for how we're doing the scoring. We're doing it differently than previous years. The winner of this championship is actually the combined score of your two games. Right. Well, you, who you play in round two is going to be determined by who won the previous game. And the overall winner is simply going to be the person with the combined aggregate score. Which means that even if you lost your first game, you are not out. For instance, James Jones lost his first one. He scored really well, and he's a real chance of winning this one. I'm really excited for this finale. I'm really excited too. You ready? I'm ready. Let's go. Four players, four games, one champion. The last man stands in. Special thanks to the second round championship sponsor, Cromlech. Makers of fine miniatures as well as this amazingly detailed terrain, we are always pleased to be able to showcase their product. Make sure to check them out at cromlech.eu and be sure to tell them Play On sent you. This round of victors sees Child of Chaos Taika Wimiga face off against Necron Michael Buckthorpe in a battle of what could determine our overall champion. Taika won a nail-biter against James Jones round one and will need to score well in this round two to add to his score enough to win it all. <laughs> I am Taiko, the Child of Chaos, and I'm here to kill some Necrons. Child of Chaos Taiko has brought a very fast, yes I said fast, Death Guard list. With three Greater Blight Drones and two Fetid Blow Drones, he will be pressuring first turn for sure. His grandfatherly influence Chaos Spawn round out his six fast attack choices in his Outrider Detachment, with a Plague Burst Crawler in support and two big squads of Poxwalkers. He's also got some Plague Marines and Death Shroud Terminators, all led by the Corodinator, his winged Demon Prince. He starts with eight command points. Necrons, this is a tough cookie. Plus, they're gonna do what I do almost better in terms of starting right onto the objectives. I think I'm gonna have to be cagey and play a better positioning game if I'm gonna take this with the game. Michael rolled hotter than Nocturne's surface and handed Steve an absolute drubbing in round one. He's hoping to continue with that luck streak for sure. What we are in for today, audience at home, the immovable wall versus the immovable wall. Michael has brought a really interesting Necron list. A Catacomb Command Barge and Technomancer lead three squads of Immortals, eight Lich Guard and two squads of Scarab Swarms, and a squad of Wraiths, as well as two Crypto Thralls. In support, he's brought a Locust Heavy Destroyer, as well as a Tesseract Arc, and Watson the Doomsday Arc returns to the channel. Across my army, that pre-game move is going to be really vital to either put myself into cover or put myself further forward. Either way, my objective is to get in his face, get in there, hold those objectives, hold them in place, and hopefully score as many points as I can. This round's game is Vital Intelligence from the GT 2021 Handbook. Six primary objectives are placed on the table and players will score five for holding two, five more for holding three, and another five for holding more than their opponent to a maximum of 15 per turn and 45 for the game. For secondaries, Tycho has taken Engage at All Fronts, scoring points for being in three or four table quarters, Spread the Sickness, a Death Guard specific secondary, and No Prisoners, scoring points for killing as many infantry as he can with a Necron's ability to reanimate, that's a pretty solid choice. Michael has chosen Grind Them Down, scoring points per turn for killing more units than Tycho does. Behind enemy lines, scoring for being in Tycho's deployment zone, and the mission specific, Vital Intelligence. I need to make sure that I rack up as much points as possible because really it's a big challenge to overcome the points totals that are coming out of these other games. It would be just like James, the weedy little git he is, to come up from behind and steal this from me. 
No, never played against Daiko. Uh, I have uh, certainly seen enough of his games. I think I have a good measure of what I'm in for. Oh, ho, ho, yeah! Deployment looks pretty standard here. Same watchwords for both players really as their last game. Michael has big guns and he could really put a hurt on Tycho if he leaves anything in the open. And similarly, Michael needs to be mindful of the speed of Tycho's drones. It's very deceptive. You don't think that Death Guard can go 14 inches a turn, but the drones can and can be on him turn one. And you get a pre-game move, don't you? I do. Oh my. I will be there before you know it. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Good luck, sir. Good luck to you. Looks like Michael's got first turn. Here we go. So I wanted to make sure you didn't have like a good first turn yeah, veil. I, I noticed that you did a very good job with like screening he's like got the back line. Not enough room for your whole unit. No. No. So, so I'm going to lose probably a turn of efficiency from there. So you did well on that one. That, that's good on you for that. I think with Death Guard, that's all about target priority. I need to take things down and focus on them, uh, even overcommit, because I think the durability is going to kind of surprise me a little bit, but not if I just keep pounding them away with heavy weapons. Just, you get to eat multiple uh, yeah. multiple high strength shots. So yep. let's see let's see how durable the Death Guard. Are. We'll find out. Um, okay, so before the game actually begins, this is after the roll off. My whole army gets a free six inch move. So Michael's doing the pregame move. I think he needs to be really cautious here and not move too far up. Death yeah. Guard is really fast. Yeah, I think he's trying to get positioning to get shots on the plate goes crawling. But five drones that move at 14 plus inches, that's dangerous. Yeah. yeah. Six inch pregame move as per his dynasty, and he's really being aggressive here. He's got to be careful not to get too far out, as Taika will be able to reach him if he does. Okay, let's start the real turn one. Starting with nine command points and ticking up to ten to start the game, and protocol of the sudden storm is his Necron command protocol, giving him an extra inch of movement on turn one. Um, these immortals over here are going to perform the dad intercept. Yep. So these fellows over here. Sorry. These guys are just going to they'll they'll advance both the um, so for three and for two. I am ready to shoot you, sir. So let's start off with the Tesla mortals in the back here. Ooh. They're gonna put their shots into here. Spending a command point on Malevolent Arcing here, we saw how effective this was against Steve in round one, dishing up mortal wounds all over the place. Ooh, only one. A and, wound! A uh, wound, so can we point at a unit and I will tell you if it takes a mortal or not. Okay, uh, the Greater Blade Drone. Yes, sir. That Fetid Blade Drone. No, sir. So yeah, cool. Two mortal wounds, not, not fantastic. But... It was worth a try. Moving on to the Tesla guys in the front here. One guy can see that back unit. Okay. Uh, the remaining four will go into the same Tesla. Yeah. Three more die. Okay. And then eight into the plague. 
Plague Marines. Hitting on trees. Go so fine. Make them all. No problem. All right. Let's put this fella over here. He's going to put his gauze cannon into the one with the lawnmower. Oh, Lord. Oh, we got it. Look at that. All right. Well, it's time to shake off the uh, rust here. Fire the big gun. So Watson, uh -oh. Watson. Watson's going to warm up with a shot right into the front of uh, front of that big guy over there. Oh no! Oh no! No no no! <laughs> Watson, Watson comes for you. <laughs> hitting, hitting on threes. Uh, oh, no, that's much not better. so good. Rerolling to hit for another command point. Down to eight. Oh, no. D6 damage um, a piece. I'm, you know what? Go for it. Go for it. So, three, six damage total. Eight goes down, one each, right? Yep. Uh, down to six wounds. He's not even bright. Yeah. This guy over here is going to fire his shot into the Plague Burst Crawler. You gotcha. betcha. Uh, uh, I am going to spend one command point. Oh, so, go to seven. Techno Oracular Rays. I auto wound you, sir. I will. Let's see that five up. Uh, Let's see it. Yeah! Oh, and he makes it! Oh, and he didn't even spend the he command point. Well command point done. Anymore. Okay. The well, demonness. The demonness. <laughs> Tesseract Arc. Okay. Tesseract Arc over here is you going to. You got a good bead on my, I do, my shield? I do. I'm going to put. You know what? I'm going to do everything into it. Okay. Uh, so gauze, cannons, and the big gun is going to fire with the anti tank profile. Gotcha. Big six. Oh, no! Two sixes in a row for shots! Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Here we go. On, Here we go. Crawler. Oh no! Wow, that's uh, these are D6 a piece. These are D6 piece. Yes, sir. Tycho is spending a command point and rerolled save. He's down to seven as well. No. Oh, Tycho. No. Well, four, three, uh, eight wounds total, sir. Piper's crawler's down, which is a big boon. However, he had to spend a lot of command points. Uh, board control to take that down. Yeah, he's uh, he's got one kill this turn. He's taken grind them down as a secondary, so he needs to kill more than Tycho. So he might have been better off splitting that fire. <laughs> and try to find some other units. Never split fire, but he might be right. <laughs> he said I'm right! <laughs> six shots for the Doomsday Arc, six shots for the Tesseract Arc, and I just killed it? Like, what? And I, of course, waste all the gauze shots because I just, I needed to overcommit onto that. Um, with that, good sir, I am finished. That's uh, that's it for my turn. I'm feeling good. I, I, I've managed to get up onto the objectives. So I cap all of the main objectives. I think uh, turn one, I wasn't able to get the deep strike for the Veil of Darkness out, but that's okay. I'm going to hold it in my back pocket. Uh, having all those objectives is going to make Tycho really work for getting any points because with my OPSEC, he's going to shift me off that objective. Well, I was really hoping that I would be able to at least get a shot off on something with my Plague Burst Crawler, but it's not integral to my plans. So I'm hoping that that wasn't, isn't a big enough hole in my backline. Plus, I don't really care about my backline anymore. Now I don't have anything to protect. Now I just gotta go get objectives and win this game. Tycho up to eight command points now, and he's got an opportunity to get into Michael pretty quick here. He could really apply a lot of pressure and make Michael's day a long one. These poxwalkers will advance. I'm gonna do D3 mortal wounds to my poxwalkers for their uh, spreading of the sickness. Okay. They're gonna poop themselves to death on this objective. Excellent. Here. The defecation station. Three of them are going to poop themselves to death. They can ignore it on six of them. Which they do not. Moving on to a psychic phase. Okay. I'll smite you. Looks like it's the immortals over there. Yes. Uh, three. Ooh, big three. All right. Well, the back guys still are in range of the objective three inches. Yep. But you take three, and I do not get a chance to bring it back. So I'm gonna fire my cannon and my um, okay. spurt. You're minus one to hit. Four <laughs> cannon shots. Take two. Should I make one fail, one, one damage. And the flamer. Throw three. Which I pass all of them. 
So he's got like one wound on him or something? Vote drone A failed. Let's see what vote drone B does. Armor, yeah, and the flamer, everything going into the scarabs. Yeah. Got it. Okay. Hey. Hey, on. All right, I've taken three so far. Flamer. What else you got? So you've killed a base, and you've got one with two wounds remaining on it. So the next drone over yep. uh, will empty into your scarabs as well. Yeah. Okay, so one has one wound remaining. Perfect! <laughs> That sounds like a charge to me. Spot gauntlets. Into those immortals. They only have one wound apiece, so you wipe them and they do not get an attempt to come back. Pretty good there, Tycho. Pretty uh, good. It's okay. It's okay. It's not ideal, but it's okay. It'll, it'll do. It'll do. Uh, okay. Plague Marines back here. Okay. I can see them. Yep. Couple of stairs. I pass them all. Uh, what, are, no. what are we charging? Looking for some good charges here. Okay, so I'm gonna start by charging your wraiths with my fetid blow drone. Okay, got it. Uh, over here, I think I need a six inch charge. Yep. Man point reroll there. There we go, going down to, to seven. Eight. Here we go. That'll do it. Hey, with a seven. Greater blow drone. <laughs> you got it. Greater blow drone into your scarab swarm. That's a good charge. He'll just you got it jump. right into yeah. it? Yeah, no problem. Um, because I don't think you can see me mm -hmm. um, with him, can he be seen? No, and he'll try and just do a Hail Mary around the corner. I'm not sure if it... Oh man, the Catacomb Command Bar just charged and he's in! That is absolutely massive! You dare not challenge me? I challenge you! All right, all right. Me, 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 me. Friendly Neighborhood Mower makes his charge. <laughs> My terminators are too far. Well, actually, they can charge right through the building, can't they? So we give it a go. Terminators! Oh, look at that! Yeah, with an eleven, look at oh, that charge. That. I like it. I feel like his terminators just did a uh, Kool Aid Man impression in through that building, where just like nothing was there. Overlord rolls up. Like, oh, look at the architecture! Boom! Oh yeah! He made the charge! Oh my goodness! What? You know what? It's a game of dice. Dice tell stories, and in this case making an 11, 12 inch charge, whatever the heck that was, through a building, over the woods, through grandmother's house he went. This is why I love Warhammer, oh. because you get these kind of moments where it's like, I don't know if I'm gonna make it, but if I make it, this is gonna dramatically change the game. Absolutely, and you know, Michael really put that catacomb command bar too far forward. He didn't need to be out there. Yeah. He didn't need to commit to that. This is a big mistake. This could be some trouble. However, he probably didn't expect Tycho to make that long of a charge. <laughs> I think he needs to put Spanish Inquisition hats on his death guard now, because Nobody expects them. <laughs> that actually turned into an excellent charge phase. Yeah, I was going to say, you got uh, charges that uh, worked out pretty well for you. Which means that I know exactly where I have to start this charge phase, which okay. is over here facing yeah. your wraiths, because if I don't do that, you will get I interrupted. Get yes, you will. <laughs> yes, you will. Uh, which I pass one, fail one. What's the damage? Take two damage. I'll do my greater boat drone here. Uh, how many damage? All right, two wins remaining on the scarab in the back. And now for the spawny spawns. Yes. They're mutated beyond reason. Okay. So I gotta roll a d3 here to figure out just what that means. Ooh, d6. Six, six means toxic hemorrhage. Uh huh. Means I can reroll all my two wound rolls. Then you got it. You ice one, you kill another one, because they have three wins apiece, and then you put two wins on the last one. Which means, means you're obsec, you get the I points. I am still on the objective with so one. So my pathetic rolling. I'm sorry, Tycho. <laughs> I'm sorry. And But oh, I am going your, to uh, see yeah. if they come back. Here we go. I am overdue for it. Oh, and you are. Do, so one comes back. Fantastic. Greater Blight Drone into the wounded Scarab base. There's not. It's not the my ones. No. You killed him. He dead. He's dead. This is the last this of the charging, isn't Which it? Which one do you want to do? Uh, we'll start with the Terminators. I, I am going to spend a command point taking you to sick. Michael's spending a command point on quantum deflection here to increase his save, and it doesn't help. He is toast there. He killed him with one one extra. Oh, that sucks. Oh man, the Catacomb command barge has gone down. Michael's spending a command point to take him down to five on Curse of the Theron to auto-explode it. What a waste. You know, I mean, that thing is so key to his plans. No more protocols. I don't think no it's more a waste. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, it was an explosion. Yes, I like the explosions. <laughs> but he's in some serious trouble. That's a key linchpin of his army, and Tycho managed to take it out in the first turn with a Hail Mary charge. Boy, oh boy, if this game keeps going like this, Michael's in some serious trouble. 
a huge blow to take so early in the game. He does some mortals, but no more command protocols and no more warlord. Ouch, Kabibble! Could have used that. Would have been nice. So a race are gonna pile in. Should have everybody in range. For nothing. <laughs> So, uh, my scarabs will get to attack as well. They're just gonna go into the greater spawn. They kick! They I saved one. They saved three ones. Six is one hit. You both are right. Make it. You know what? It's still an open game. I have the Lich Guard in my back pocket, so I'm able to throw those into the backfield, cause some ha havoc there. Um, he got a lot of really good charges, so I'm kind of on the back foot of my right flank, but I have a good feeling about my left flank. All right, so we're at the end of turn one, and Michael is unfortunately on the back foot here. Tycho yeah. really pushed forward hard, and was the only one to score points this round. Yeah, he's got two for engage, and he's got two more for no prisoners, because he's managed to kill 29 wounds with the models uh, that count for that. But, so, he's got points in hand. This is, this is shaping up to be a tough one for Michael, but he's got the guns to answer back. He really does, so. I think Michael can do it. Let's see turn two. Here we go. Up to six command points for Michael and three victory points on data intercept as well as 10 for primary. He's got some repositions to do here and possibly some fallbacks, but that was a huge blow turn one. Two inches back with the Catacom command barge and it couldn't have happened. What a mistake to make. Fallback and charge built in? Correct. Oh, that's pretty cool. It's pretty good. And I am going to Veil of Darkness, so this fella right over here is going to select the Lich Guard. Um, I'm going to bring the Murder Buckets in, and they're actually going to start showing up on this side over here. Let's go to the shooting for, let's start left to right. Um, my vehicle over here, so the Tesseract Arc, mm -hmm. is going to put all of his shots into this one right over here. D3 damage for two goes down to one. And a big gun, how many shots? First. Well, there you go. Uh, two command point reroll for one of these. For one more. So five, and seven two. wounds total. He's got it, he's down to one. He's down to one. Ah, uh, unfortunate. Uh, okay, the heavy uh, Locker's Destroyer is going to put his shot into that guy right over there. Into my fetid bullet drill. That's a hit. And of course one command point, putting me down to four to auto wound sir. Let's see, five up. Oof, Three. I will... Tycho re-rolling a save, takes him down to six command point. No. Sorry, my friend. No conversions. Five remaining, give it nine wounds. Okay, no problem. All right, let's go over here where Watson is going to put his big gun into the fetid bloat drone. Is it this guy here? Yeah. yeah. And he will put his gauze flare array into the terminator. Flare array first into the terminator, sitting on three. You got it. You got it. All right, big gun. How many shots, please and thank you? Please. He's Oh, you make it. Uh, okay, let's do Tesla. Tesla shots are gonna go into the um, Poxwalkers. Texas. I ignore none of them. Bye bye. Okay. Not as much shots as I'd hoped, but these immortals over here are gonna put their shots into the Blightload Terminators. Oh, you make it. Hey, okay. Look at that. The Terminators <laughs> stand. Yeah, that's right. There's a lot more left than I'd hoped, but. Uh, okay, so first first charge is going to be the scare, uh, race part of me into your fetid blow drum. I think I've got a seven. You're fine. Objective. I'm going to take the Lich Guard in the back and are going to charge the charge. You betcha. I'm looking for a nine and I get a reroll because of the Warlord trade. Yes, there I need this. Are you ready for this? To fail. Ready for this? Blessings of Nurgle. Bless. Well, that's a that's, bless. that's a good blessing of Nurgle. All sorts of blessings of Nurgle. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Yes! I rolled three twice. Nine is charged. It's never a given. Never like, is, no. I think the stats are like something like 64%. Yeah, even with a reroll. You know, the, the thing about having a nine is charged, and, and we learned this early in eighth edition when they when you could only come in from nine, games are lost on trying to guarantee a nine is charge. And I hope that isn't the case for Michael, because the Lich Guard are tough and they can hold up for a long time. But 
games have been lost on nine inch chargers and counting on them. You, you just can't count on a nine inch charge. I enjoy the drama of trying to go for it, but you can't count on it. You cannot count. Oh, oh my yeah. luck has deserted me. Oh yeah. Oh boy, oh that's brutal. I just got super lucky. This may be a turning point, almost as powerful as the Terminator turning point. His Lich Guard failed their charge. Two chances at a nine, neither went. And uh, I might have an opportunity now. Uh, okay, let's let's do combat. Um, Wraiths over here are going to put their attacks into there. I'm on the left. Yikes. Uh, I get to pick the first on going? You get to pick the first on going, sir. Uh, yep, the Wraiths, this thing over here. Well, yeah, that can wait, because this otherwise, yep. yeah. These, um, these don't get bracketed at all, hey? He hasn't been charged. Yep. I don't get bracketed, uh, but I don't get to only get four attacks this round. No problem. You pass one fail, one, what's the damage? One damage. All right, I'm gonna hit you back. You said three attacks, hitting on sixes. Nothing. Chewing up rates. These are four up, oh my God, that's disgusting. So I've failed two. <laughs> they're two damage, right? Yep. See, so ice one and wound another one. Middle of turn two, Michael sits at 17 points to Tycho's four. He's got four command points remaining to Tycho's six. Up to seven command points and ten primary points to start turn two for Tycho. The dead walk again, where is okay, it? Okay, that, that does sound there pseudo related. Dead walk again is one of the most thematic stratagems there is. It gets to have all those zombies come back. They come back, yeah. That's <laughs> absolutely huge. Now the key is he's used that on one of his other one on his unit at the back, not the unit that's engaged with the So he's guard. gonna get to do it twice. He's gonna get to do it twice. Oh, that was a terrible roll. I get two there. pox walkers. <laughs> oh no. All right, so advancing pox walkers. They're pretty spry. We can go nine. to do their uh, pooping on objectives trick. Okay, how many mortal wounds do they take? La poop -poo. ah. Of course. Uh, two of them do you are upset about poop. Mm -hmm. So the two I got back, I think my prince is gonna smite some more mortals. Let's do it. That's what yeah. he does in the psychic phase. Maybe these fellas over here. Smiting of immortals! Yeah. One. Nice. Uh, shooting, I will shoot into combat because that's all I'm allowed to do. The flamer first. Okay. Four. Four up. Nope. One more damage. One damage. Yeah, so he's down to eight. Nope. One more damage. One more damage. You did it. Terminators. Yep. Are going to... Flamer, flamer. Spurt on the immortals. Okay. I pass for two, fail one. Ooh. Is that it for them? That's it for them. Please come back. Yes, yes. Yes. Marines. Yep. I'm gonna turn around and fire into your Lich Guard. I think they can see the one guy waving yep. the sword around. Which I fail one, one takes a wound. Greater Blight, drone. Yep. Let's pump everything into the Doomsday. Okay. Yeah. Armor take, uh, fail on both. Damage one. One of these, okay. Watson has 12 wounds remaining. Forward, Greater Blight, drone. We'll put, no, we'll put the cannon into your Immortals and the Flamer into Watson. I pass. Oh, just one shot into Watson. And it fails to win. Changed everything! All right, let's do a uh -oh. fetid bloat drone okay. into your uh, Goss Immortals. Okay. You got it, sir, with a 10. Terminators are trying to charge Watson. I'm going to spend a point to overwatch. You're fine. How many for the big gun? Three. Hey. Tycho has to reroll a save, takes him down to five command points. Hey. Hey. You make it. Charge. You got it. Six will do it fine. 
charging spawn. Oh. Unwounded greater blight drone yep. into your Tesla Immortals. Yep. That's okay. so this, this one, right? Yep. yep. The one, same target. Okay. You got it. it Finally, over. the box walkers. Okay. Into, what? into your Lich Guard. Six will do it, no problem. So, Poxwalkers being a pretty low-tier unit do have a couple of stratagems that might turn this fight around for me. So yeah, I, I, uh, I think there's a plan forming about how I can deal with this incursion into my backfield. All right, I'm gonna use a couple of stratagems here. Okay. The Wrathful Dead stratagem and Mutant Strain stratagem combination with the Harbingers uh, for Death Guard is very rarely seen because it relies on Poxwalkers, but oh my goodness, oh my goodness those Lich Guard. Oh, five so far. Let's see, oh no, four, five, what? Wow, so you get 10 mortals so far. And... Which I pass all, so no more. So you got 10 mortal 10 wounds 10 done to you. mortal wounds done to me, which is going to drop five Lich Guard. How many points are they? And who can expect Poxwalkers to do so good? Garbage He's taking zombies. it out and tying him out with one of the cheapest units in the game, with one of the one of Michael's more expensive units. Exactly. It's amazing. This is, huge. this is the exact situation you want to be in as a player. You want to be trading up. You want to be um, sacrificing your weak units to stop his big units. Exactly. It's it's a fantastic trade-off. It's exactly where Tycho needs to be. Sorry, Michael. Uh, I'm gonna roll these anyway, so I'm looking for fives and sixes. I need two to bring back one Lich Guard. And at the moment, it looks like I get one back. So, so I'm gonna get my four guys. You're getting four guys back regardless. Whatever happens. Yeah, no matter what. You know what I hate? I absolute hate, and I'm talking to the audience too, I hate fighting an army that just gets back up after you kill them. Like, what is that? That's broken. Garbage. Ruins the immersion. I hate it. Full strength Poxwalker unit. <laughs> Oh yeah! Well, where are we going to next, Tycho? Spons. Okay. What are we doing? Grasping pseudopods. Ooh, this is the good one. Three D three attacks. Ooh. Nice. Get no, them. You, you got them. You killed them all. A boat drone into some immortals. Oh, they live. So three drop and the three come back. Yeah, two do. Wow. So kill one. That, that was good, not as awesome as I was hoping. Good boy. Well done. <laughs> um, let's move to some charging blight drones over here. Okay. Which I fail to drop. Uh, the um, Terminators. Down to two command points for Michael to use quantum deflection on Watson the Doomsday Arc, but eight wounds still get through. So he's taken eight, he had 12, he's got four remaining. Okay. Search card. Hitting on uh, threes. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, yeah. Like oh, yeah. Only two. Two wounds. <laughs> uh, ah. Ignore this on sixes. Turtle. Two die. All right. All right, all right, all right. Turtle. Yeah, your character's going to put his attacks hitting on threes. Jeez. Yeah, he kills one. There we go. Immortals are going to put their attacks into your uh, bloat thingy. What is it called? Bloat drone? Threes. You have two attacks. Oh, he okay. did them all. Um. Turn two, things have really swung in my favor. I need to make sure that I don't slip up here and let him back into the game. Big, big turn for Tycho here. Our score is 20 to 17 in his favor, and he does have six points in hand to be added at the end of the game from Spread the Sickness. All right. This is uh, gonna be a big round. It's gonna be, gonna be a, big, be a round. big round. I think I'm in a good position but you've got an opportunity here to I just do. take the like, take the momentum and swing back in your favor. Uh, so I, what I gotta do is I gotta get as much value out of my important units as I can. Right. I mean, you have taken a pretty good toll on my things, but ultimately the stuff that you've been taking off is not necessarily the big damage numbers. So well, I've been doing my best. You've like been killing whatever I can get my paws you've on. You've been so. doing a very good job of that, so. <laughs> Michael gains five primary points and a command point to go to three, same as Tycho. And I gotta do some big thinking here. So command phase, all my vehicles will heal. This guy goes to eight wounds. This wraith over here heals the wound. Eight on this guy. This guy, Watson, heals up to five wounds. There was, I think one of my Lich Guard had a wound on him, no it longer. Is that done? Thank, thank you. And now, 
I gotta figure out, I gotta play the mission here. The mission has to be played. Um, all right, let's go to shooting. So in combat, the Tesseract Arc is going to fire. This is the tricky part, because I gotta figure out what I wanna do here. You're not making me make easy choices here, man. That's the whole idea. That's the whole plan. <laughs> the plan and all of it. Uh, you know what, okay, one gauze cannon going into the Chaos Spawn. Okay. The solar fire into the uh, big guy. Do it. Okay, one. And of course, of course, that's what kills it, right? Of course. <laughs> it blows up on a four. Yes, please. Come on, explosion! Floaty. Nope. Nope. Ah, come on, ah! Chaos Spawn, so taking three of the gauze cannons. Nope, nothing. Do -do. All right, okay, that's uneventful, that's no problem. Over here, Watson is gonna put hit all of his shots into the uh, very nice and lovely Terminators in front of him. Hit it. Ooh, bitch. Hey, there we go, I think I took one down. The Heavy Lockers Destroyer is gonna put a pin into this uh, fetid bloat drone. Uh, so one shot, hitting on threes, re-rolling ones. That's a hit. And one command point for Techno Oracular Array puts me down to two command points, and I just auto wound you, sir. 3d3 damage. Dead. He is dead. Nope, no more shooting. So, Wraiths are gonna charge. The Chaos spawn. That'll do it. Uh, murder buckets. Crypto Thralls, Murder Buckets are gonna try to charge through. I think it's a six. That's not about right. Maybe a five? I'll give you a five. All right, sounds good. Thank you. Which I fail on a four. Hey! And unfortunately, I don't think I need these guys in here, so I don't think I'm gonna reroll this. Okay. The entire building is ruins, but there's like one steel stud running down the middle, and then it just went, bounced off. Um, let's go to combat. So race should all be in range. Yep. They've got four attacks apiece. So kill one. I get to pick the first ongoing. You do. I'll pick over here. Okay. And I'm gonna pop my couple of strats again because <laughs> this is gonna give me an opportunity to really That's so hurt. go to town. Here comes Raffle Dead again? Raffle oh my dead. goodness! Yeah. Raffle Dead mutant strain. Do yeah. He's managed to do it twice. Yeah. Um, the Lich Guard are so tough that they stay in combat. But what's happening is Tycho is getting Poxblockers back because Lich Guard are dying, because that's their rule. And he's killing them, and he's getting more, and it's it's what value out of a crap unit, let's face it, right? <laughs> like, you don't often get to see this. I'm so no. glad we got to, though. Oh, this so is what cool. you can expect from playing on tabletop. <laughs> oh, we're gonna do the reverse. Right. Oh, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. There's actually more than last time. <laughs> oh, wonderful. Are you rerolling at all? Going fishing? Gone fishing for fishing. sixes! Now you add one more to the tally, but I see some ones in there. There's, There's two ones. ones. Two ones. We roll all this. There we go. You need two more to wipe the squad. Thunder go! Get three more. Oh my god, that's crazy! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Um, I'm gonna pick my mortals over here. Gonna attack this float drum. Yeah. Really else. Loves it. Loves it. Uh, chewing up the immortals underneath the building there. Okay. Next to Watson. All right. A blow drum. No, they're gone. <laughs> Flesh motor go. 24 to 20 in favor of the Necrons. No command points for Tycho and two remaining for Michael. Tycho gains a command point and 10 more primary points. He's on a bit of cruise control right now. Right. Yeah. So I probably. All right. All I right. think that's that's the works for sh for movement. Unless you see something I've forgotten. Mm, no. Looks like you got all your bases covered. Okay. Just gonna put a wound on Watson if something goes off. Sure. Yep. You got it. And How many? Two. two. He's down to one. By my plague marines are gonna shoot your destroyer. No He's got two remaining. Hey! Boat drones into the 
Guys in the combat with him? Yep. Should sure. I just do them both? Let's nice. do them. Yeah. No, wouldn't have mattered. Three lives. Whee! Pistols at Watson to Pistole. finish him off. Let's start with two. We'll two. That's on two. Charging time! Let's do it. Where are we going? Let's start with a float drone. Float drone, okay. Got Nine. It. The Prince. Now would he get minus two for He is Death Guard. You got it. Seven should do it. Right in the front. I got you. Charge your destroyer. All right. Minus. No, that's a fail. Tycho re-rolling his charge with his only command point. All right. Gun so tied. I get to start the charging. You have yep. enough to interrupt. I do. So do I? Am I worried about any interruptions? No. So uh, I'll just start with the prince. Okay. No, fail all three. Three for nine damage. Yeah. He's dead. I'm going to spend one command point Revenge of the Pharaoh to auto explode. No, Watson! Oh, I really wanted to see him do well this turn. I was rooting for Watson. It really is not a very optimal choice for no. a Necron army, no. but man, is it a lot of fun. You know, it's funny. If you watched Michael's first game, you would have seen how effective Watson was. And now you watch the second game and you see what everybody's talking about would take that out of your list. But I don't know. I like Watson. He's fun. He's fun. He's fun. Good job, Michael. Good job, Watson. <laughs> uh, it is D, it's D3, uh, Mortal Wounds within six. Uh, one for your Blight uh, drone thing. Box. Three big ones on the Mortal Wounds. Three on the, on the uh, Demon, Prince. Demon Prince. And then your Terminators, how many? Two on your... Watson's going down! Now I don't have to worry about interruptions. That's right. So I'll just go to my drone taking out the Destroyer. Almost. No, not even close. He's dead. He did. He died. I'm gonna overrun. Uh, okay, well, I will um, attack you with my Canoptic guy in the corner there. You get my right. Canoptic. Oh, Ow! He, he has actually killed more than the Lich Guard now. Yep. Where would you like to attack there, sir? Uh, I think I only have one more combat. Yep, you do. I think I can get everyone in. Yep. Triple ones. Oh Excellent. my gosh! Is it just our dice? Uh, I think it's our dice. The orange dice hate Imperials, not the black ones. Which one does Steve touch again? I can't remember. All of them. Uh, he's got one wound remaining. So I'm in a really good spot here. I feel really good about where I'm at and how uh, this game is going to finish. I'm going to score a lot of points here. End of three, score of 35 to 25 in favor of Tycho. He's got six points in hand for spread the sickness still. He's got a good lead, but can he widen it? Or will Michael's dice show up? Two more command points for Michael and five points on primary. Things have really got to go right for him, I think. This isn't looking great for Necrons. <laughs> it's not going fantastic, <laughs> but you've got. Don't count me out yet. All right, let's do some uh, shooting. There's not gonna be a lot of it. It's going to be this guy here firing everything he's got into that. So let's fire the big gun first. How many shots? Come on, baby. That's not a big shot. Finally! Spending a command point to reroll the number of shots. That's a bit better. Oops. Oh my God. All miss. All miss! All miss! Uh, we will go to the gauze cannon. Gauze cannon. Five. He's Make okay. It. Huh? <laughs> hell is going on? <laughs> Are you doing this to me? I thought we were friends. Uh, okay, well, you know what? Um, is what it is, so let's go to combat. I don't have one going. You pick first. Which one would you like, sir? You're not going to actually kill me with the combat, so mm -hmm. I will move over here yep. and do all this. Oh, he lives with one wound. Ah! <laughs> He's alive with one wound remaining. Fetid bloat drone. But wounding on force. Uh, attacking the singularity guy. Uh, Test right dark. Uh, go. Oh my god. Oh my god, he's dead. Two piece. <sighs> you have a command point left. Yeah, you have to. Spending his last command point to reroll the save. He does. One we left. All right. Uh, you haven't fought with this guy yet. Correct. Again. 
with the trend of he kills more than the... the Poxwalkers of wow. Doom! Wow! <laughs> it's sure annoying playing an army that just keeps getting back. It's, That's it, aggravating. It's aggra I can't even imagine <laughs> what that would be like. I sure hate it. What a tough turn for Michael. Another nine points to go to 33, but Tycho sits at 35 with two more turns to play. This is an absolute nail-biter, folks. 15 primary and a command point is going to put Tycho up pretty comfortably here. Uh, how many Poxwalkers decide to rejoin this pack of... Oh, yeah, five, six. Can we get like a graphic or something? Oh, Look at that, it's five. <laughs> <laughs> One command point for the dead walk again on the other squad of Poxwalkers, and all that work Michael's done goes for naught. We feel you, man. And these Poxwalkers are oh, at full strength. that noise. <laughs> after you, killing you, a unit of Lich so Guard. I'm going to take my D3 mortals for the objective there. Okay. Feel it. I do feel it. Psychic phase! Do it. Prince is going to zap. Okay, I guess I can see from a sword tip, so sure. Four up. That's right. yeah! Four up? Wow. Okay. Uh, that would be him taking two. Two. Your stinky mix stink stinks. Stink out what's down. Uh, are three. Nope. Three more. Three on the cryptos! And this thing's dead. Kablooey! That may be all she wrote here, folks. With a final total of 45 points to 89 points for Tycho, your winner, Tycho Emiga, and with a combined total score of 169 points, Tycho Emiga passes James Jones and takes the play on championship. Congratulations, Tycho! I really gotta hand it to our players. They played a fantastic game and the score doesn't really communicate how hard these players tried. All four games, our yeah. players have really tried really hard to present a fun, engaging, and competitive game. Absolutely, yeah. Congratulations to Tycho. I mean, 169 points total. He scored 89 points in that game to Michael's 45. James actually takes second. My man second James place, Jones James. takes second place. But it's an 18 point gap from first to second and an 18 point gap from second to third. So that tells you how close it is. 18 points over two games both times. That's not a lot. Nine points per game. That's absolutely super close. If you had to play a game and it was a nine point loss or victory, you'd be pretty happy with that. I mean, that's a tight, tight game. And, and that's what we had here. And I think it's just absolutely fantastic. What an exciting ride these last four games have been. I'm so glad you joined us for it. If you haven't watched the other ones, what are you doing? Go watch them. Yeah, don't get the spoiler final. Go watch <laughs> the other games. Come on. But thank you for joining us. Thank you for our players. Thank you once more to our sponsor. Thanks again to our sponsor, Cromlech, and to Tabletop Scenics, their terrain line. Um, they make great models. They make great terrain. This stuff is absolutely gorgeous. We had a ton of fun playing it and showcasing it. So we're, we're glad that they are on board for this final series. This wraps up our season three, as we call it, of, of Play on Tabletop 40K in 40 Minutes. Yeah. We had a blast this year with so many cool games. I encourage you to go back and check some of them. I loved our Pacific Grim, for instance, where we had big giant titans. I loved your game against Tack with the Advec on the oh, water level. With everything melted. I, I love your Carnifex with the pet Carnifex. That was fun too. That, that was, was against fun. that was against yeah. Tanya the War Mistress. That was a hoot. That was a blast. And we have some amazing things planned for season four. We, we really can't do. wait for you to join us. And for those of you who have been joining us and supporting us throughout, we want to say a big thank you. Special thank you to our patrons that have been really instrumental in keeping us going this year and literally keeping the lights on. Yeah, without you, we can't do what we do. So thank you very much for being a part of this. So if you haven't, consider supporting us through Patreon. It's a great way to get early access to our stuff, behind the scenes, live streams, uh, and interaction with us. It is a fantastic community that we have been really fortunate to be a part of. And uh, like, subscribe, the whole thing. All the shenanigans. <laughs> all the things, hit the buttons, all we'll do, do the YouTube things. And for the last time of season three, 2021, we're gonna say it right here. JT, are you ready for it? <clears throat> <clears throat> yes. Until the next time we see you in the far-flung future of a grimdark universe. Play on! Kill, maim, destroy! Playing on Play on Tabletop has been an incredible experience. I really... I've probably painted more from playing on Play and Tabletop than ever before, and I really, really enjoy that part. I dedicate this win to all of you Chaos fans. Chaos forever, kill, maim, destroy! This is the year of Steve, next year, year of Michael. I'll be back.
Well, at least I didn't do as poorly as Steve. <laughs>